You know when you're watching like an anime and uh, the villain from season one comes back to help out the good guys and he ends up being like one of the best characters ever? That's just the vibes I'm getting right now. Please, I need this fan fiction. As many of you guys have heard, I, I guess the Korean War is ending after like 80 years. That's pretty amazing. Daddy Kim went to this uh, border right here. There's some talks going on. We'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to say, okay, I deserve some congratulations because my dumbass reaction channel might have made a difference. On February 4th, 2018, I uploaded a video called Best Korea Fails in Civ 6. It was using a mod called Earth 2018 and uh, I was playing as Daddy Kim. And of course, as any one of my videos goes whenever I play, I obviously did horribly. I was just a complete embarrassment. But that's all normal. But then, on February 12th, I got a view from North Korea. Now, I've been on YouTube for five years. That has never happened. I was actually talking to somebody from YouTube, someone that actually works at YouTube. Uh, this view was legitimate. A lot of people were thinking it was some sort of Hacker Boy 9000. That's not how this works, I guess. So, fast forward to today, boom, this happens. And it was after like two months of discussion, okay, they were still trying to figure it out, still trying to think of everything they saw in my video. I'm thinking he gathered one of two things from this playthrough. Uh, obviously the first being that he has no chance if he were to do anything uh, warlike, he would get his ass kicked because that's basically what happened to me. But the second, and I think that the way more convincing uh, reason here is that, let's just think for a second, it was Kim Jong-un that actually watched the video. He probably thought to himself, Look, look Look! at this mentally challenged kid from California. I, I don't want to nuke that state. This guy has tons of problems on his own. He's got to make a fucking reaction channel because he can't even play Hoi 4. This little gay twink has so many more issues. I, I, I don't I don't want to make his life even harder. So yeah, I, I think I, I deserve a little bit of credit here. You're welcome, world. You're welcome. Now to celebrate, I wanted to do a video on the unification of the Korean Peninsula. And since it was Kim Jong-un that was the bigger man and started these peace talks, let's go ahead and let him lead this nation. As well as, you know, he didn't end up assassinating me, so I, I feel feel like I gotta thank him here. Now I'm using a North Korean mod, which gives them a new focus tree, as well as, I guess, some extra stuff. Either way, they're looking pretty powerful, and uh, if they wait for the right moment, I think they might even be able to take down China. Oh, yep, it is looking like he's preparing for some sort of invasion. With the full force of K-pop and League of Legends now on his side, no one can stop our supreme leader. Now luckily, there's a very common scenario that would maybe make this a possibility of the Koreans taking Chinese lands away, and it's actually happening right now. China always justifies on India, and if they're forced to fight a two-front war, I can't see it going very well. As always, we aren't starting with any factions, so maybe we'll see a makeshift alliance between the Indians and the new Korean Empire. Oh good, and it looks like Trump's trying to improve relations with this new unified Korea by uh, keeping up with the North's tradition of starving. He's respecting the culture, I see. Well, there's the war, it always happens, so this isn't very surprising, but now's the time to strike. Which by the way, with both South and North Korea together, they now have 3.5 million manpower, which is still a little bit less than China and India, but they can definitely keep up. Bhutan has just joined a faction with India because China decided to attack them as well. Good, good. Keep going to war with random places. And there's another team, the Asian Coalition of Peoples. All right, Kimmy, like I said, you gotta you gotta make your move here. I don't know, though, because actually the longer he waits, the weaker China gets. And I, it's usually 50-50, this conflict. India might win, the Chinese might win. But as time goes by, man, they take a lot of damage. They'll be able to just walk in if they choose the right moment. Uh, of course, I, I should have seen this coming. Uh, the first thing he's gonna want to do is, is, is build this. It's... Still a very big goal of his. I'm not sure why, but every time we play Millennium Dawn now, it just seems like a bunch of random places go communist. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it could actually be really good for our new country in the East. It's only been a year into this campaign, and the Middle East already looks even worse than it normally does, which is surprising. Jordan, Iraq, they're reactionary, but they've got a lot of monarchist support. As well as I've noticed, we now have communist Palestine coming up. Not gonna make a comment about that. India's beginning to take a lot of territory over here, even though it's not that valuable. There's still a lot of time left, but uh, come on guys. I need you to do something. Although they might just be trying to prepare their own Fat Man. It works in two ways here. Fat Man because of the, the bomb, as well as Fat Man because of... I probably just ruined the peace talks. This is gonna be really random, but I've been wanting to do a, uh, what's that thing called? 23andMe DNA test. I don't know actually where my ancestry comes from, 
But I, I would just die if I get any sort of Swiss in the results. It'd be so perfect. I'm actually super surprised the African Union hasn't popped up. That seems like it happens all the time in this mod now. This is like the first time in a really long time that these countries aren't all under the same team. Well, Putin just messed up horribly. I, I don't see what happened. I think the EU is forming, aren't they? I'm pretty sure the EU is about to form. Yep, that's gotta be it because there are just tons of people joining this European coalition. I expect to see them in the next year or two. Perfect, oh my god. I, I was, thank you so much for not letting me down. I know I was making fun of you for quite some time. This would have been a horrible video if you didn't do anything. And it looks like for now, he is in fact joining that Indian team. I don't expect that to last. I'm sure once this conflict is over, that'll probably split apart. Damn, and he waited for the perfect moment. I, I don't think we've seen the Korean AI do this well in anything. Yep, you guys are screwed. Again, like I said, this Indian-Chinese war is usually pretty 50-50, but obviously with Kim Jong-un involved, China has no chance. Real quick, back here in the West, you know, Putin might be okay for a while. There's not much territory for the Europeans to move through, so he might be all right. I wonder what Japan's thinking about all this. I, there's no way they get involved, but I, I would like to see them do something. Will India or Korea take more territory? Because it looks like there could be a cold war between them after this is all over. Needless to say, the Chinese lost most of their divisions in Manchuria. I would say at least maybe close to a quarter of their entire military. I'm definitely expecting Korea to have at least one puppet in this peace deal. I don't know why the communist AI loves to keep puppets instead of taking territory, but we'll see. Oh god, and there it is. Yep, I, I think I was right. Six states and six states. Maybe India took a puppet as well. Shit, this is gonna look like the Chinese Civil War all over again. Base game Hoi 4, here we come. Oh wow, it actually doesn't look that bad, surprisingly. It looks more like the uh, second Civil War or the continuation of the Civil War. Uh, I'm assuming Korea has most of, yep, they took at least Eastern China and then, yeah, a couple of these smaller guys. Yeah, after looking at this Indian territory and seeing what they puppeted from the peace deal, it's obvious Kimmy did a lot more in the war. I think, uh, I think he got a lot more war score. Oh man, please do it. Please do it. That would be so smart. If he attacks Russia right now while all of Europe is invading from the West, that'd be genius. Especially because Vladi is nowhere even close to as strong as China was. Although, you know, China got gangbanged, so it was a little bit of a different situation. Uh, either way, I mean, he might be involved in that same sexual encounter as well. The Empire of Vietnam, who just went fascist, is attacking Lao as well as this is kind of a big deal because they share a border with China. We'll have to see what our supreme leader thinks about this. This is kind of scary though, because uh, as I thought, these two are not friends anymore. Uh, there is no faction actually over on this side, which is kind of odd. Oh wow, and the Canadian independent kingdom. They've gone back towards a monarchy, but they, they said F the queen, I guess, which is understandable. Yeah, this kind of sucks. There are definitely less commie conversions that happen in this video. Compared to the last one, well, we've got socialist Peru. They're going communist, but that's that's not enough. Just because I'm sure the East could use some more friends, but uh, there's not very many possibilities for that. Okay, well, we've got another conflict on our hands. I, I don't know if you waited long enough. I I'm kind of worried. Russia's actually doing fine over here in the West. I I'm sure he has a lot of problems underneath the surface, but it looks okay. We'll, we'll see how this goes. You know when you're watching like an anime and uh, the villain from season one comes back to help out the good guys and he ends up being like one of the best characters ever? That's just the vibes I'm getting right now. Please, I need this fan fiction. Again, I don't expect this to last very long. I'm sure this team will end as soon as this conflict is over, but it's gonna be fun to watch them team up. Damn, and Putin has almost nothing in Siberia. Well, there go the gulags. Oh shit, Japan clearly did not appreciate my anime metaphor. That is, that is one of the most fucked up things we've seen. They're like betraying basically the entire world at this point. I mean, even Greenland. Who, who would betray Greenland? Those three people living here are probably pissed. Obviously, the Koreans are doing amazing over here, uh, especially with these guys just running and taking everything north of Mongolia. Oh, crap. This is going to be very, very bad for our unified Korea. I don't know if they have anything down there. Yeah, one thing I do know for sure is you never want to fuck with Vietnam. Those farmers are rough. Of course, they joined the Russian team, along with Malaysia. This is gonna slow down the East, although the war will still eventually be won. As well as this is amazing, luckily India could probably just destroy everything that we've seen so far. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna start to have a handle on the situation down here. It should be fine. Also, China just needs time. They're still super powerful. All this manpower, 
They just gotta rebuild their military. Oh, and Russia's already lost Moscow. So this, this can't last that long. They do need to get down here, which will take some time. Oh, not only is Japan now helping Vietnam, all right, I guess the relationship between those two isn't as good as I thought. Oh damn, they got him, and it's fine. That's surprising. That's great because now they can dedicate more of these divisions back towards the north. And I think things are finally starting to wrap up in Russia. So I'm excited for this peace deal. Really want to see what Korea's gonna get. Oh my god, <laughs> 53 states. Latvia took 27, which might be even more impressive. Uh, something got puppeted. I'm guessing that's about it. Yep, Vietnam got spared somehow. Oh my god, I can't believe how well this video actually turned out. The actual conflict was between Latvia and Russia, uh, so I guess there's possibility for Kimi to take even more territory. So as I said, another faction was going to be formed uh, between China and Korea, the Asian Coalition of Peoples. But weirdly enough, Latvia also joined that, which is... I think by far the weirdest shit we've seen. Okay, here's the secondary peace deal. Korea taking nine states, and I'm assuming, yep, put some more communist governments in power. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop it right there before uh, this amazing empire is just ruined, because I'm sure that's gonna happen. We've got crazy amount of factions right now. The African Alliance ended up forming, not with everyone in this continent. Uh, Brazil is in that team as well. The European coalition does look a lot weaker if they were to take on Latvia, Korea, and China they might have a, a tougher time. Well, anyways, I guess if the North Korean government watches this video as well, they will realize they need to diplomatically annex South Korea, and uh, from then on out, they can just do whatever they want. They can pretty much conquer <laughs> everything at this point. So, yeah, I, I think we've got a great, great, bright future ahead of us. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Franco is thick. Leather Daddy Lennon, Matthew Rembish, Free Cruise, Swiss Argo, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Tyler, Jason Wright, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Matthew King, Roots for Vacation, Matthew E, Jungkook's Bay, Elijah Senpai, Wyone, and Elfie C.